In this tutorial, we'll go over how you can use uh, the reprojection asset to grab things like the face texture, the body texture, etc. So you can add a textured face mesh or body mesh, etc. anywhere in your scene. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is open the asset library and search for reproject. And that should bring up the simple reprojection. So I'm going to import that. And once that finishes importing, we get we can go ahead and close out the asset library. And you can see we have a folder here, a prefab here. Uh, so go ahead and grab this prefab, put, put it under the main camera. And you can see that adds a bunch of things here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disable the info cards. Uh, feel free to read through that. It's going to go explain basically what we're doing here. Uh, but you can see here we have the ground enabled. Um, so we have this pink uh, plane here. Um, we don't want to use the ground plane. Let's use something a little more interesting. So I'm going to disable that. We can only have one reprojection script enabled at a time. Turn on the face mesh. And you can see we have the face mesh here. And now one little last housekeeping thing. I'm going to open up this folder, mesh, tracking. I want to find that face mesh. I want to enable the eye geometry, the mouth geometry. And then sometimes you just need to reset your lens to make sure it's all tracking well. And here you can see this little reprojection texture. We have our face texture with the eyes and the mouth. So if we want to use that, we have this face mesh here, but this is being used by the script to actually get that texture. So if I move this face mesh, let's say I want to add it to my own little 3D scene, you can see that we're losing that face texture. That's because this face mesh needs to be used by that script. So what I like to do is I like to kind of hide this all away on a separate render target. So I'm going to create a new render target here. Now there is already a reprojection render target. We don't want to touch that. This is needed to create that texture. So I'm going to rename mine to reprojection items. So let's call this reprojection items. Then I'm going to select this camera. Let's also rename this reprojection items. And I want that render target to go to reprojection items. I want to also switch to a new layer so I don't get mixed up. Let's call this, you guessed it, reprojection items. And now with this face mesh, we want to select the object and make sure it's on that same layer. So what we're doing here is we're just taking all these items here uh, in this camera, and we want to just render them somewhere else so that they don't show up in our final scene. So in our scene config, we have our render target being used for the caption live targets. Then our reprojection items are also being rendered. They're just not going to be visible. And that's fine because we just want that material that's creating. So now let's go and close that up. We can create our own camera. Let's create a new camera. Let's create a face mesh here. Now, the reason I put this on a separate layer and stuff is my camera by default. It's going to be on the default layer using the render target. So when we add the face mesh, you can see it is right there. So let's grab our face mesh. And actually, let's go ahead and select it here first. And let's turn on the mouth and eye geometry. So we have the full face. And I'm going to select that mesh. And I want to change the material to this reprojected result. And there we can see that we're back with that kind of like reddish pinkish face. But now, I move this out of the head binding. I can actually move it wherever I want. And we have that face texture here. Uh, so let's switch to open mouth. And you can see that is working. We've got the eyes, the mouth, the head. And I can put this face mesh wherever I want in my scene. And I have that original face mesh being used for the reprojection. It's not visible in the final scene. I don't need to worry about it. It is just out of sight, out of mind. And I can just use that reprojected material. So this is awesome. This works for the face mesh. And just to show that it is actually working um, for anything reprojected, let's switch from the face mesh to the 3D body mesh just for fun. So I need to select that body mesh, let's switch it to reprojection items. And let's change this to a new preview with a full body. Let's grab dance. So you can see our reprojection texture. And if you aren't familiar with it, this is basically what the 3D body mesh UV map looks like. It's kind of like this X pose. Uh, so to actually use that, let's select our camera. Let's add a body mesh, full body mesh. 
Now you might need to come in, select that mesh. You wanna make sure it's body index zero. And then our 3D body tracking, you also need to set that to zero because there's already that other body tracker up there. Now you select this, you choose your reprojected result. You can see there is the person. We can pull this out of that tracker and you can see we have our body mesh with the person's texture and we can move it around our scene wherever we want. Now obviously it's not perfect because it's the 3D body mesh, it's not a perfect match, uh, but it may work for your use case. And you can just kind of move this copy of the person anywhere you want. And we are using that reprojected texture from the asset library. All right, so just jumping back to the face mesh, the last step that you will want to do here, of course, is come into here, select this material, click on base color and just set it to white, just let you remove that tint and now you are good to go. And one last thing, uh, make sure you also turn off this debug camera so you don't have that uh, texture output up in the corner.